Hi, this is TapCat, and today I'd like to talk to you about what projects to prioritize once you've built your proving ground. My top priority will generally be the plasma grenade project. Now realize you do need to complete the Mouton autopsy over on the research side before this will become available. But once you do this, it's a nice upgrade on the frag grenades that we start with. It shreds an extra point of armor, it does more damage, and it's significantly better at destroying cover like trees rather than just damaging them. Once that's done, next up is typically going to be experimental ammo. Now, you can't direct what ammo you'll end up with. I'm always hoping to get Talon rounds first because they're such a great fit for a ranger. But the reality is that almost any of them can really help out one of your soldiers. You're usually at a phase where you need a push in terms of your power level to help bring down the aliens faster. And the ammo will often give you that. Those will pretty much always be the first two things that I do. From here on, the list is less one of absolute priority and more priorities in the context of what else is happening. So I will talk about, you know, for each thing, when this is going on, do that. So please just don't take the rest of the list as being in numerical order. Once you start encountering more robotic enemies, you want to complete the blue screen protocol as soon as you can. Primarily because this will allow you to buy blue screen rounds from engineering. You can buy as many as you like, and I normally will get two. I'll bring two grenadiers and put one on each, but they're very, very useful against robotic enemies. You know, the extra damage they do really helps bring them down quickly. Now to move the story forward, you will need to build a skull jack. And at some point, and I would suggest relatively soon, you want to upgrade it with skull mining. Once you do that, you'll get a nice bonus for hacking when you carry the skull jack. Another thing that will be somewhat dependent on what else is going on in the campaign, but it is a priority, is battlefield medicine. Now, I would say you don't need this too much as long as you just have the starting armor for the game. But once you go up to tier two equipment, uh, by then too, your soldiers have usually been promoted more and their health is getting up there. So having heals that only do four, you know, it's it starts to be a lot less effective. And Battlefield Medicine will kind of get it back to where it needs to be. Now, once some of those things are out of the way, by all means, start knocking out experimental grenades. I'm usually most hoping to get an acid grenade, but incendiary grenades, and in particular, the gas grenades are also very useful, at least against organic enemies. The other thing I would suggest is once you get a couple of these in your arsenal, these experimental grenades, you can do advanced explosives when that becomes available. That will turn them from grenades into bombs and they will have a larger area of effect and they'll usually do more damage as well. Now the last item in here that I will build more often than not, at least if I have a long range sniper, is a spider suit. I don't really feel like this is necessary for a gunslinger, but if you have a long range sniper, the spider suit is a nice addition to his mobility. And those would be the must haves for the most part. These are the things that I would prioritize most heavily. Now realize that the ammo and grenade projects are things that you probably won't knock out in succession. You'll do a couple, you come back to it after you do something else that feels more urgent. In general, just kind of follow your pain points. If robots are giving you a really tough time, go blue screen protocol, that kind of thing. All right, if you've made it this far, then hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like so other people can find it too. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.